Hi ladies, it's me once again. Um, I just wanted to make a video because today has been really, really rough for me so far. Um, um, my boyfriend called me this morning saying that he may not come home for Thanksgiving um, because some weird crap like they're not sure if they want them to go home, be able to go home because normally what they have them do is spend Thanksgiving with other families. Don't know what that means, but I don't know. It's just frustrating. We bought his ticket already. Um, we've already made plans. Excuse me. We've already made plans. I've made plans with his mom. Um, I'm just really, really frustrated. Um, lately, I've been frustrated more um, about a lot of things, more than just the military, but... Um, when he called me this morning to tell me that, it didn't hit me at first, so I was still asleep. And then when it actually hit me, I was kind of like, what? I was pissed. Um, you know, I know it's something that he signed up for, and I know it's something that I signed up for inherently. So I understand if someone's going to say, you should deal with it. He's in the military. You knew who he was getting, who you were getting in relationship with but you have to be in my shoes to understand how I feel and that's what really frustrates me too because I don't have anyone here to to talk to um, except his mom because she's gone through it uh, growing up her father was in the military too so but it's a little different you know so it's frustrating um, and just dealing with my own stuff, you know. So, um, I've just been kind of just in this rut the past few days on what to do, you know, um, on in my personal life and with him and I, and it's a lot of pressure. And um, I just want to um, do it right. So... And I want to be supportive for him, you know, so I've been ignoring my my own feelings a little bit uh, without bringing it up to him too much because I know that's unfair. Um, but when I finally let him know how I'm feeling, you know, he's very understanding. And uh, one thing that it may not be as under, easy to understand for him that there's a part of me that feels, I don't know if it's the part of me that uh, is a little you know, insecure or something, but there's a part of me that worries about the temptations that he faces while he's in Texas. Um, without getting into too crazy long story, but there is this girl on his Facebook that lives out there. And she's cute, she's pretty, a little, uh, I think she's an ex-stripper or something. Um, and she always leaves crazy shit on his Facebook. Nothing like to hint where my mind is going, but, um, it doesn't help. So, you know... Out of all the people he's met in El Paso, that's the only person or girl he's added on Facebook. And um, I can't help to think that she's pretty, her skin is light. And I know that other women out there may not understand what I mean by that um, because I'm not dark skin. Um, but again, you have to be in my shoes or someone like me, shoes to understand what I'm going through right now. Um, but, I don't know, I'm kind of opening up to you guys because, you know, the people that do watch my channel, um, I've been talking to through Inbox, and they're really, really helpful. Um, I wish I remember your screen names, <laughs> but I have a couple of women who I write back and forth on a day ba daily basis, and they're awesome, awesome people. Um, so, I don't know, I just feel, like, uber insecure about stuff and I don't think that he's ever the type of person to cheat on me but I think and one of my friends said is because he's far away and you don't have that day to day um, 
kind of reassurance that this person is thinking of you, that this person loves you. You know, um, her boyfriend comes home every night. Um, you know, sometimes surprises her with flowers and stuff like that. And it's like, I'm jealous, you know. I'm jealous. And I knew my boyfriend and I were going to do this long-distance relationship. I'm just, you know, it's hard not to get jealous, you know. And um, I tried to tell my boyfriend this, and he doesn't really understand. He does, but he doesn't. He's kind of this laid-back dude that doesn't do stuff like that anyway. Um, oh, I'm kind of rambling, but it's just been hard lately. Um, especially now that I don't think he's going to come home for Thanksgiving. <sighs> it's just hard. And, um, we've been seriously talking about getting married lately. And, um, one thing my friend asked me, she's like, I hope you know that getting married isn't going to help, isn't going to make things easier. Um, because there is going to be a time where he's going to leave. And there's going to be a time where he can't be with you. And there are going to be times where you're going to be in the exact same position, but you're going to be his wife, so it's going to be worse. And I understand that, you know. I totally understand that. Um, I'm friends with a lot of other military wives off of YouTube, so they tell me their struggles. Uh, one of my friends, whose husband's also in the Army, is leaving for um, Afghanistan in three weeks, two weeks. So she won't see him for Thanksgiving because she's going to come home next week. Um, she won't see him for Christmas. They weren't together last year for Christmas either because he was deployed. And um, they have a baby. And uh, I'm really, really trying hard not to cry because I'm not crying for myself right now. I'm crying for the little girl um, because she really, really cares about her daddy. And um, I've never met the little girl face to face, but uh, I can understand how hard it is to be away from your parents for a parent for a year, you know. Um, and she's strong. She's like, girl, you know, I'm gonna get through this. I'm gonna go to school while he's gone. All I gotta do is get used to being in my parents' home again, you know, for a year. And uh, I really commend that. And I'm, I feel so weak right now. And I'm not a weak person. I've gone through a lot in my life without shedding a tear. Um, so right now I think that's the main reason why I'm freaking just feeling so insecure because it's one of the first times that I feel powerless. You know, when you take someone's power away, you take a part of their identity away and it sucks. You know, it really, really sucks. You know, I wish I could find a better word. It's, it's, it's awesome. It's crazy especially someone who's been powerful all her life you know and so I don't know and so I just I need I need someone to talk to so I'm kind of talking to myself even though I know you ladies will see this um but uh it's just been really hard. Um, I forced myself to get up this morning, get dressed, put some makeup on, um, going to sushi with my friends later tonight, and um, that'll help me a little bit. And I'm going to go do my nails because I've been, as you guys know, for the past all my videos, my nails have been black and just chipping, chip, chip, chipping away. So I'm going to go get my nails done um, or do them myself. I think I do a better job than the shop anyway. Um, and it's cheaper, so I'll probably do that. Um, but... I've been searching all over YouTube today for answers and praying about it like crazy. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I feel better now that I'm talking about it, you know? So I think this is helping. Um, but I don't know if I'm asking for advice. I don't know if I'm asking for someone to slap me out of it. I don't know. Um, all my friends who have boyfriends that live with them or live in the same city, I go to them and tell them this stuff. I'm like, oh, Tiffany, it'll be okay. He'll be home in Christmas. Oh, he'll be home. Da -da -da. Oh, he'll be. And I'm like, you don't fucking understand. I'm sorry for my my language, but they don't fucking understand how hard it is. And one of my friends, when I told her he was getting deployed next year, she was like, oh, okay. Well, at least you um, have more time for us because he won't be able to call you. 
trust me, she's not my friend anymore. <laughs> um, because I do talk on the phone with him a lot, um, except for the last two nights. And I think that's what's making it worse, too. We really haven't talked too much the last two days because he's been working like crazy at staff duty. And uh, I heard his voice the first time this morning, and the first thing he told me was, guess what? I may not be coming home. Love it. So, yeah. I don't know what else to say. I'm just... I wish I could take off of work and go see him and just fly out there during, during Thanksgiving if he's not going to come home. But I can't. I can't take off work. I'll lose my job if I take off work this next week. week This week or next week. Um... That's a given, even though no matter how awesome of a worker I am, I just, I would lose my job. Um, and uh, I need my job. So, um, his mom has no idea that it's possibly a maybe. So, I know if it doesn't happen where he can't come home, she will be heartbroken. Um, I'm not going to be the one to tell her. Um, he will have to do that. I, I'm sure he will, you know. But uh, my plan is if he can't come home, I will still go and see them on uh, the day before Thanksgiving or the day after. Um, just to show my support because I really care about his mom. His mom's been there for me through a lot. So I'm going to go and at least spend, you know, half a day or something with them. So, yeah, it's been a rough day. I'm kind of like, I've been looking forward to today. Because this is my day off, and I, got to, I get to relax on my day off and watch TV and catch up all my stuff on TiVo and hang out with friends and stuff like that. But right now, I just feel like I want to stay in bed and sleep. But uh, God wouldn't let me, so I'm not going to. So uh, that's about it, guys. Um, I don't know. I might do like an outfit of the night kind of blog tonight just so uh, I can get my mind off of it not that I'm a trendsetter or nothing like that just to kind of get my mind off of stuff um, yeah if you're lucky enough to have your hubby next to you every night really appreciate him Especially if uh, you've been through this before. <sighs> really, really appreciate it. And I'm learning not to change my, my boyfriend, you know. I love him more than, more than I could put words. And um, as an English major, I have a lot of words. So, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, so, um, you know, I love him more than words can say. And, um... <laughs> I'm really trying hard not to change him, and I want him to call me all the time. I want him to send me flowers. I want him to send me gifts, and he's just not that type of person to send me stuff. He would rather spend time or uh, send me money, in which he's done. Hey, here's $100 to go shopping, and I'm kind of like, yeah, I get excited, but, you know, so I just got to realize, you know, <laughs> I'm not with uh, someone who's like, I'm going to send you flowers, because he knows I don't like flowers. I like them only because he's far. But if he was here and he gave me flowers, I'd be like, what are these for? So, I'm just crazy. So, uh, before I just keep rambling and crying and looking retarded, um, I'm going to end this video. And uh, like I said, I'll probably do a outfit of the day or an update tomorrow on how I feel. I'm forcing myself to get out there today. I'm going to finish my laundry. I'm going to go watch my doggies, um, which they're around here somewhere. I don't know if you guys ever met my dogs before, so I would go run and get them, but I'm at 14 minutes, so thanks, guys. Bye.